Hey there, my friend. Welcome to today's video. My name is Dr. Anthony Balduzzi. I'm the founder of the Fit Mother Project and the Fit Father Project. Today's video is all about healthy snacks that you can make at home for you and your family. Because let's face it, especially right now, when, as I'm shooting this during the COVID-19 quarantine, so many of us are at home with our kids. And that means we have idle time and we're often turning to snack foods because we're bored or we're sitting down more. And so what I wanna do is help make sure that you know some simple, low processed snacks that you can actually make with some basic ingredients at home that are great for your body. They're gonna help you lose weight, that are gonna help keep your kids healthy and energetic and actually putting good things into our bodies because just on a high level nutrition perspective, we are what we eat. The food we put into our mouth after the digestion process happens, it gets assimilated and truly becomes our cells. This body is an accumulation of food. So I'm gonna teach you some simple snacks you can make at home that'll help give you energy, health, and vitality. So the first snack on this list that I think is absolutely amazing is some homemade trail mix. Nuts, seeds, some dark chocolate, all amazing to mix together, but there's a problem. Most of the commercially bought trail mixes that you can get in stores are full of sugar and candies and crap. They're baked at high temperatures. They have uh, you know, a bunch of sugar and BS in them that you don't necessarily want in your body. And the best news is we can make trail mix at home and we can make it incredibly healthy. And the first step is to pick a couple nuts that you do like to throw in your trail mix. So stuff that I love are almonds, macadamia nuts, maybe some Brazil nuts are great for the selenium. But you get a couple nuts that you and your family like, pistachios could work as well. You figure out what those are and I want you to soak them in water overnight. What that literally means is you take those nuts and you put them in water, you cover them in a little bowl, um, and you put water and a little bit of sea salt in that bowl and you keep it out on the counter overnight. Why is this important? Well, most people don't realize that nuts and seeds, although they're very healthful for us, have some anti-nutrients. These are nutrients that actually protect the nut itself because it's an organism, right? And it protects the nut from actually releasing its nutrition and they can cause us GI upset. So a lot of people who feel like they don't feel good when they're having nuts, it's because of these anti-nutrients and the soaking actually removes those. So the first thing with making homemade trail mix, we soak our nuts and seeds. And once we've soaked them overnight, the next day what we do is we basically combine them together in a bowl. You could throw some dark chocolate in there. You could throw any kind of spices. If you like it spicy, you could throw a little bit of cayenne pepper, some turmeric, some more sea salt, or if you like it a little more sweet, you can and sprinkle some stevia, some cinnamon, um, some cardamom, so other kind of some clove, other kinds of great spices in there. Whatever your palate works, just throw some good spices in there. And then after those nuts have been soaked and all combined in there, I would throw a little bit of coconut oil, maybe a teaspoon. Uh, you can either bake it at the lowest setting of your oven. So if your oven can go down to like 120, that would be amazing. Um, and you basically can bake it for around 60 minutes, make sure to turn them. Or if you have a dehydrator, which is essentially a machine that you know heats things for very low temperatures for long times. You can dehydrate the nuts for about an hour to two hours and they'll be ready to go. You'll have some homemade trail mix. And if you want a little bit of sweetness, again, of course you can use the stevia powder or liquid stevia in there, which is great. Or you can add a little bit of honey or a little bit of maple syrup and it turns out you can make some really amazing nuts. And the fun thing is you can actually do this with your kids. You can have them pick out their favorite kind of nuts, them go through the soaking process. They'll be excited the next day to really combine it with all their favorite spices and then voila, you have amazing trail mix and this is again super healthful for you it's good in those healthy fats it's high in protein it's high in fiber vitamins minerals because you soaked it you're gonna digest it well so number one homemade trail mix so many different ways you can make that number two is good old-fashioned fruit Right now, we live in a culture, uh, particularly the last five years in the nutrition landscape, that's become very carb-phobic. We've learned so many bad things about processed sugar, and it's absolutely true. And then we have a lot of these super low-carb ketogenic diets where people have actually gotten afraid of eating fruit, and that is a big mistake. Fruit is a food that human, the human body truly co-evolved with. Our ancient ancestors have been eating fruit for so many years, and fruit is one of the foods that our body actually absorbs and digests best because fruit has the fiber. Yes, it has some naturally occurring, occurring sugars, but it has fiber, sugar, vitamins, minerals, free, free floating amino acids. It's absolutely amazing. The right kinds of fruits, you can look at the research, are amazing for your immune system. You know, they can give you good energy levels and not all fruits are created equal. There's some really great fruits that will keep your blood sugar stable like blueberries, like kiwis. You can have oranges, apples. You want to watch out for, I'm not saying you go out there and necessarily eat like 10, 15 bananas at a time or eat a whole pineapple, um, but fruits are really great. And here's a rule about fruit that a lot of people don't know. It's best to eat only one type of fruit at a time. This is called a mono fruit snack. Meaning if you're going to have fruit, um, have only apples. If you're gonna have fruit, have only blueberries. If you're gonna have fruit, have only watermelon. 
Because a lot of people who don't feel good when they eat fruit make the mistake of combining different kinds of fruits because different fruits have different water compositions. Like you know the difference between like a banana, which is a very sweet, dense fruit versus a watermelon, which is a very watery fruit. These things digest very differently and they require much different um, environments in the digestive tract. So when you combine something like a watermelon with a banana, you're gonna have digestive upset. But if you combine watermelon with watermelon, your body's just fine and can digest that really well. So a great snack for you and your family is to have a mono fruit meal. Get that, let the kids pick out what they want to eat, what their fruit of the day is. And if it's a bunch of oranges, it's a bunch of oranges. But you prepare those, you put them in a big bowl, and you guys can have those during one discrete fruit sitting. And if you want to have fruit sometime around a meal, it's also really important to understand that fruit digests very quickly. This makes it a good pre-workout because you eat fruit and it's pretty much digested and assimilated within like 30 to 45 minutes. Whereas you had something like a heavy protein, like a steak or something like that, that could take hours of digestive um, stress, I guess, on your body, you could say. So a mono fruit meal is snack number two. Pick one fruit, and that is a really amazing snack, and it will be very good and beneficial for your health. Um, number three, this is one that you can actually buy. Um, there are a lot of crappy bars out there that are really chock full of sugars and weird bad ingredients, but one company that I actually do like, um, that thankfully you can find almost everywhere, even in gas stations these days, are Kind Bars. K-I-N-D, Kind Bars. And Kind Bar has a brand of these bars uh, that are actually less than five grams of sugar. And it's really amazing. If you look at the ingredients, it's basically a little bit of dark chocolate, some kind of nut, seed, um, and basically some stuff like that. There's only a few ingredients in them. They're less than five grams of sugar. I think they have around 10, 15 grams of healthy fats from the nuts. They have around five, 10 grams of protein. They're under 200 calories. So in my book, if you are gonna buy something, a Kind Bar is really amazing. And if you do look at the kind of bars and you do have bars in your house, I wanna make sure that you're not having bars that have uh, more than I'd say 10 grams of sugar. I mean, it's a lot of sugar for a particular bar. And some of these bars that are like protein bars are more like glorified candy bars. They have like 15, 20, maybe even 25 grams of sugar and that's absolute crap. You don't want that. So a Kind Bar is a really good snack number three. Now let's talk about some two last ones and this will be pretty quick. Are some of these more dessert style snacks. One thing that I think is absolutely amazing, especially moving into the summer months when a lot of kids are home, is we want to have some kind of healthy like popsicle or cold snack. So one thing you can do is you can actually get an ice tray. You can have your kids pick out their kind of favorite fruit, whether it's like an orange or a lemon, and you can squeeze some of that fresh juice in there uh, with the water as you begin to freeze that. Add a couple drops of some liquid stevia, which again is a great healthy sweetener, just a little bit of sweetness in there, and you cover that with a little plastic wrap, put a toothpick in there, and bam, you have some healthy, uh, basically very, very, very low sugar um, popsicles that you guys can enjoy the next couple days. And if you want something in the middle of the day, you have a couple of those. Really nice, enjoyable, simple, Basically, all it requires is some water, some toothpicks, a little bit of plastic wrap, some stevia, and a lemon. So really easy, really great, we love that. And then the next thing, when it comes to actual proper ice cream bars, a brand that I absolutely love um, is called So Delicious. They make these low sugar coconut ice cream bars. And you may find these in your local supermarket, if you see, this is actually what the low sugar variety looks like. Make sure it actually says low sugar. These bars have less than five grams of sugar and they're completely dairy free, which is great because I think roughly 75 to almost 90% of people have some issue digesting milk either the milk proteins like the casein um, in particular or the lactose, the milk sugar. But these coconut bars, they taste like actual ice cream, but they're absolutely incredible. They have good healthy fats from the coconut, they're low in sugar and they taste great. The only thing is they're a little more expensive than traditional ice cream bars, but your health is worth it. So those are five simple snacks. We have the homemade trail mix, we have um, the mono fruit meal, we have the kind bars, we have those homemade popsicles, and we have, of course, some of these low sugar coconut ice cream. So really easy ideas. The whole big message here is get your family to eat low processed food, nuts, seeds, fruits, you know, obviously the water and the different kind of things you can make, that's what's gonna help your family get and stay healthy and you can make this whole activity where you do it together. It's gonna to create a culture of health in your family and you're all bonding over food. You're nourishing your bodies, your energy levels will be better and your whole family's gonna be better for it. So I hope you found this valuable, my friend. If you did, give us a thumbs up by hitting that like button and let us know. And if you have some other snacks you'd like to talk about or mention, drop them in the comment below. And obviously, there's a lot more snacks than just these five. These are just some simple things to get you started with. Um, and if you're not subscribed to our channels and you found this video, we would love to, for you to subscribe across our Fit Father and Fit Mother Project YouTube channels. We literally have hundreds of videos on nutrition, exercise form tutorials, how to lose weight, how to build muscle in your 40s, 50s, and 60s. We are the Fit Mother and the Fit Father Projects. This is what we do. And of course, we have some links to our free meal plans and free work 
workouts down in the description. So if you scroll below, you can get those. We'll send those straight to your email as well. So thank you for being my friend. Hope you found this valuable and I'll see you around our channels and I'll talk to you very soon.